Hello, today we're going to see how this SR latch actually works here. And we have this dodgy sim and paint here. So we're going to check how what happens when these inputs are changed. Okay, so S is equal to 0 and R is equal to 1. We check this one here first. Okay, we get an output of Q is equal to 0 and not Q is equal to 1. Is this correct? Yes, Q is equal to 0 and not Q is equal to 1. Now we're going to check this one, this value here. S is equal to 0, R is equal to 0. You have to realize now that your current Q will become your previous Q, which means that your zero here, let's take a look here. Your zero here will become your previous Q. That means what is current here will go down here and become your previous Q. Your previous Q will be zero here. So we write it down here as zero, on plane as zero. Your current Q is zero, becomes your previous Q. So we write zero here. Uh, there's a slight mistake here. Mm. Current Q is 0, we write 0 here. Okay, so your previous Q is 0. Okay, so we have this one here, 0, 0. So we set S is 0, and we get Q as 0, and not Q is equal to 1. So your current Q here is 0, will become 0 here as well. This is your previous Q. Your remain as 0. So your output is 0, Q is equal to 0, and your not Q is equal to 1. And you can check that this is correct. Your current Q is 0, and your not Q is equal to 1. So this is correct. Your current Q is 0, it becomes still remains as 0. This is your previous Q 0, so it still remains as 0 here. So, we can check the next value here, this value here, where the previous Q is 0. Okay, so to do that, we have to set S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 0. Okay, you have an output of Q equals to 1 and not Q is equal to 0. You can check whether that's correct and it appears to be correct. Q is equal to 1, not Q is equal to 0. Now, look carefully here. Your current Q has become 1. Okay. So that means the current Q becomes your previous Q. This value here has changed to 1. Okay. So your previous Q, we can check this value here where your previous Q is equal to 1. So S equals to 0, R is equal to 0, plus Q is equal to 1. So we do that and see. S is equal to 0, and we get an output of Q equals to 1, not Q is equal to 0. Which is correct. This is what you get. Okay. So this is how you can see that it follows the truth table. And you can check for other values, values as well. Okay. Thank you for watching.